Hey, hi again. We're back here at these old guns at the old backdoor range, backyard range. And, uh, well, it wasn't much of a winter, but we didn't get much time to go out and shoot. So now we're back into production and doing some shooting. Today we're going to talk about the most important assassination in American history and the firearm used in that and just how lethal is it. We know it worked. So we're talking about the reproduction, Petersoli, Philadelphia Derringer. 44 caliber the 20 grains of 3f in there and here is our our victim the shot was taken at point-blank range awful lot rested on that one shot of all the things available at that time one shot with a little pop gun like this we're gonna see just how unscientific test is with this stuff have some fun with it so we're gonna set this up we're gonna kill a watermelon and then afterwards, we're probably going to ramp it up a little bit with, a, with another option that was available in the 1860s. All right, here we go. Let's get this thing set up and kill a watermelon. Okay, here we are at our imaginary forge theater with our imaginary victim here. Our evil watermelon. That We don't like watermelons. And we're going to take the shot as historically uh, recorded point-blank range. Other questions come in. How was it the security guard happened to step away so John Wilkes Booth could make it up to the box and do what he did? Who knows? It all sounded fishy to me, but he was left unguarded and this was the result. So we're going to see just what a little 44 caliber Philadelphia Derringer can actually do. Point blank range. Hope I don't get any on me. Three, two, one. Six Semper Tyrannus. Sure was loud. We have a clean through and through in the watermelon. Not a tremendous amount of damage to it though. That's what it did. All right, we're back. We popped the watermelon with a 44, 440 round ball through and through the watermelon. Wasn't, not too dramatic. So we're gonna try to kick it up a little bit. What if he had a baggier coat and a little more room when he entered that theater box? What if he had one of these? We're going big or go home. The Colt Walker, obviously reproduction. Got about 50 grains of powder in here. And let's see what this thing will do to that watermelon. In three, two, one. Mark difference for certain. It's dead. It's definitely dead. Good. That's it. <laughs> Eat up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. All right. I didn't even expect that. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. This is kind of the before and the after. Now, if about the same size ball, but much difference in velocity. You got this just blown to bits. Here's your entrance with a derringer here's your exit with a derringer splitting but not much hydrostatic shock and it certainly didn't do the damage that one shot with a walker did on this poor watermelon so there you have it I mean, that surprised me all right so there you have it in conclusion our not so scientific test but it was fun stay tuned for our next big adventure if you have any suggestions you want to see and i can do it let me know at the comments at the bottom of the section Today we did little gun and bigger gun. The fun thing is, I still have five more rounds in this. You know what that means? I gotta finish this off. Stand by. Here we go. Well, and now it's gone. <laughs> Thanks for watching.